Hey guys, uh, so we're gonna do something kind of different on the channel today. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff in the mail all at the same time and I was thinking how am I gonna do you know three videos or something and one of them might be small I don't know I, I usually like to keep one video one game of course um, but I just think I'm gonna group these together because uh, they're all the there's some games here that are older games that have already been out I mean they've been reviewed to death uh, good games but you know it's I'm not gonna add anything to the conversation but um, the cool thing is, is they just got some physical copies so we're gonna do some unboxings of course uh, so we're gonna have something fun from our boys at Limited, but also uh, I got this old Square Boy from I Am 8-Bit, so that's going to be cool. Can't wait to show you guys what's in these, and uh, let's get to the fun. Let's start unboxing these guys. So like I said, I got a couple things in the uh, mail today, so let's start off with the limited run box, and uh, as per the usual, first things first, safety first, let's open this box up, see what we got, oh yeah, ooh, there we go, so, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon, oh that's cool, ooh it's holographic, nice and the messenger so very excited about having these two physical copies in the collection um so this actually came out with a collector's edition and uh you'll soon find out that if there's a collector's edition i try my best to buy it but i missed it on this one um you know they they put their sales up 10 a.m eastern time and then they re-release stuff uh 6 p.m eastern time and on both accounts for this day i missed it uh i was at work i was really busy and so that really stinks and this actually isn't done by um limited run games this was just sold through them so oh, look it even has a number on the back well that's cool hey that's neat so anyway uh, i'm excited because limited run does seem to put a little bit more work into their games so we'll see if we got something cool Get our buddy the knife here. We'll start with uh, Blood of the um, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. Now, if you haven't played this game, it's awesome. Um, I actually I got it on the Xbox originally. Uh, it was free for when I um, kickstarted the uh, the actual uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, and I mean I got all the achievements for it. It's just one of those games where it's it's good. And I'm going to show a little bit of gameplay footage um, at the end of this. Like I said, it's kind of like a, like a mini review. So and let's just get into it. That's what you guys care about right now anyway. So, got that open. Side by plastic. Now, what do we get? Okay. First off, I mean... manual yes this is what I'm all about right here and story characters looks like and uh, yeah so if you have not played this game imagine if someone was like hey let's make Castlevania 3 again and in my opinion better and that is this game the reversible art that looks beautiful once again I prefer it to have the red spine where you can have it on your shelf, so I probably will not be flipping this one around. Um, this game actually got a release in stores. Um, another thing you need to know, uh, well really I guess I could just throw in a uh, pro tip for a limited run, is if you buy a game with them and you buy another game with them on the same order, you will not get the first one until the last one releases. So this game actually came out in physical form a little bit ago, but because I ordered this at the same time, I had to wait for this one. So just kinda keep that in mind when you order with them. Um, you may have to pay separate shipping if you want something faster. Um, I think it's usually like five bucks with them. Uh, just keep that in mind. So anyway, that was uh, Curse of the Moon. So I got this cool card. I'm loving that. Kinda put you out of the way. Now the messenger, this game, this game, 
Let's just open it. This game is the bomb.com. So, get in here. Get that plastic off for you. And the trash. There's a little bit of weight to it. There's something in there. What is it? Ho ho! Got to love that. Thick. God, this is a thick boy. Damn. Message from the developer. Thick, full color manual. Oh, man. This reminds me of the NES. I mean, all day. All day long. This is... Oh, look at this art in the beginning. This is awesome. Well, thick. You know what? No. No, thank you. <laughs> this is great. And it's... This high quality kind of paper has that thick paper to it. Looks like it came with some, like a sticker set. Let's get that out here. Ooh, I want to bend the edges. Ah, come on. So it has a sticker set with it. That's really cool. And once again, really cool reversible art. You know, it says the messenger on the side, but. I mean, I'll beat this to death. I really like the red spine, so your shelf looks right. But that's just me. I mean, you know, you guys do you. Um, that's just where I'm at with this thing. So this is also really cool. Oh, I just noticed that the letters were kind of foil. Look at that. <laughs> that's neat. This is cool. I'm going to show some gameplay um, over these. Uh, maybe I'll just show a little bit during the unboxing. I'm not sure yet. I, I'm, you know, I'm going to edit this video as we as we go. So now the last thing. This guy, fragile, protect from the heat. Mr. Sun doesn't like it. Where are we at here? Oh, there we go. Ha. Oh, what could it be? What could it be? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, first off, very well packed. Oh. That is a shipping label. I am 8-bit sticker. Awfully cool of them. Is this a postcard? From, uh... You know? I don't quite know what this is about. But whatever. I am a big record collector and when I saw this oh man you know I had to have this so this is the Cuphead soundtrack on vinyl cool thing is is it came with a digital download um, so I have it on my phone mp3 what have you uh, let's get into this real quick I'm gonna just give a little slice On the bottom there. Yeah, we are. So, here we go. Whoa! Now, that is awesome. I mean, it reminds me of the, uh, what is it, that, the the old cartoons, the whatever melodies. And let's see what the actual... actual records look like here. Alright, here we go. Selected tunes. So that's classic. I mean, it's real classic. That's, that's cool as hell. Side A. B is Mugman. A is Cuphead. That's cool. Let's see if the second one looks a little different, maybe. Oop. Back in there. Oop. Eek. Yeah, so the other one has a uh, what do we have here? Got the King Dice guy. I forgot his name. That might be it. I hope so. 
And of course the devil himself for side B. So this is awesome. I am about to go listen to this right now. Um, but first let's uh, check a little bit of gameplay from those two games maybe, or um, you know, just have a little, a little bit of talk about them, I guess. But anyway, once again, this is awesome. The quick and dirty for Curse of the Moon is this. Enti Creates was tasked to make an 8-bit game in the same vein as Castlevania 3, and they knocked it the hell out of the park. You can play as just Zengetsu, or you can pick up the likes of Miriam, Alfred, and Jable along the way. You can actually run the game three different ways. You can team up and have a much easier time with four characters essentially having four life bars and a lot of varied abilities, opening up alternative routes and methods. Or you can go solo with just Sengetsu and basically have a hard mode. Or you can have a more dark kind of route where you kill your potential teammates, giving Zengetsu extra abilities and making the solo route a lot easier. Of course, with these options there are multiple endings, including a mode where you can run with the whole team and have a fully powered up Zengetsu. Also, the secret true ending final boss is cool as hell. The Messenger is like playing a classic NES Ninja Gaiden game with all of the tropes of an action platformer of the era you've come to know and love. As you progress, you get a few new abilities and the game seems like a fantastic love letter to the genre. Then, kind of a good ways in the game, the script flips and all of a sudden you're playing a 16-bit SNES style action platformer. One thing I really want to point out here is the music is dope as hell. And there are two versions of every track an 8-bit version and a 16-bit version. Those change on the fly depending on how you're playing the game in the 8-bit or the 16-bit mode. Overall, this is a great game and I highly recommend it. So I know that was a little different. Uh, you know, I didn't want to seem rushed, but like I said, you know, these games have been out for a while. It'd just be weird to make three videos on all this stuff, especially because, I mean, a video on the record would be kind of short and I'm not gonna hook up my record player and play it through my f camera phone because you wouldn't get the right quality. But man, there's some cool stuff, some good pickups. Um, I really recommend picking up these two games if you haven't played them before. Uh, they are both awesome. And if you're a vinyl guy, man, you gotta pick this up too, because this is one of the best soundtracks, I mean, hands down in a while. Um, but anyway, yeah, thanks again for swinging by. Once again, thanks for stopping by to my channel. I love making these videos. I love hanging out with you guys. I love you guys watching. I love the feedback. So leave a comment uh, down below if you played either of those games or if you like any of those games and want to talk about it. Or if you don't like them, you know, hey, whatever. Maybe you thought Castlevania 3 was better. I don't think so. I love Castlevania 3. So let's debate that one-on-one. -on -one. Other than that, I mean, hey, if you're a record person, let's talk about some records down there. You know, uh, like the video, dislike the video, whatever. And, uh, you know, other than that, subscribe, ring the stupid bell thing, and it's been awesome. Take it easy.